We are checking out a new area. See the oxidization here. Got Justin number two over there. He's digging away some of this material here, which is containing obvious iron pyrite. And uh, we're in a nice long zone where you can find sphalerite, galena, chalcopyrite. So we just wanted to spend some time exposing here, see if uh, this opens up into anything bigger. Pyrite is going to have some values in it, but uh, nowhere near as good of values as if it were sphalerite and galena and chalcopyrite. So let's dig her off and see if there's anything there. There are loads and loads of samples. This basically is deteriorated quartz. And where it's gray is where you have intrusions of sulfides. And I've been hammering away at a bunch of samples here. Most of the stuff I'm actually finding is pyrotized, if not all of the rocks. And there is some sphalerite in there. But primarily I see iron pyrite that's very fine grained and basically this rock is like, I'd say at least 70% iron pyrite. Whether or not we got some other values in there is so far undetermined. But we'll probably run these under the XRF because they are pretty substantially mineralized. So there's definitely something in this area and this is definitely dead on what you see down in the other zones where you find more prominent mineralization. So here's some of the samples we pulled out from that vein. They're basically solid mineral hunks. I'm almost positive there's going to be some zinc in there. It might be lower, but... Generally, all the pyrite on this claim has background values for copper, lead, zinc, and silver. And while there are hundreds and hundreds of samples there, we're only going to show you a few because a lot of them look fairly similar. And this is the last one here.
So that's it guys, hope you guys enjoyed. We're done in this area now.